Hello, today we're going to be talking about State of War and my review of the game. Now, as the title suggests, it's an RTS game that everyone should play. Whoever's a massive RTS plan, uh, massive RTS fan, um, it's where to begin. I said I've actually wrote a big bloody essay for this. So, um, sit back and relax for like 20 minutes, probably longer while I chat about this goddamn game. Um, Start off, start off simply, it came out way back in 2001, State of War, on PC, and it's got a, a sequel called uh, State of War Monger, which I will give a quick glimpse on that as well, because I might as well, I'm not going to review Warmonger separately, because my main focus is State of War itself, the first game, because I didn't play much of Warmonger as a kid, because it was an absolute swine to play back then. Um, it feels like a lot of people don't know about this game, um, even though I think it said there's like 6 million copies. It's on Steam, it's on Steam now again by the way guys, I don't think it's ever been on it or it's recently came on, but it's on Steam so you can buy an upscaled version of State of War and with the War Monger combo package. It's, I highly recommend getting it, even if play it full, play, full price, as I said it's, you know, dicky do. Right, so yeah, to start things off, I'm pretty sure I played it probably late 2001 and 2002 because when we first got the Family Pizza and one of the few games that I, um, I was playing when I was a kid was Ruggles Tycoon 1 and 2. Played um, Real Tournament. I very played that because it was quite gory when I was, I think I was 7 or 8, and I was like, nope, that's a bit too gory for me. And, but obviously, Stay at War, which is a game that me and my dad played a lot I mean my dad was worse than me playing this game he was obsessed he was oof. um and like I said I've not played this game about 10-15 years properly I've played here and there years ago but I've not played properly obviously that's why I've done a, done a uh, series on it because it's just ugh. and I said I remember a lot of the missions still to this day as some of these missions I managed to blitz one one attempt because I, I knew exactly what to do but there was a load of missions I couldn't do, and my dad, being a wizard, was like, "Boom!" He spent like, like you know, hours trying to do it, and they blitzed it, and then he did one longer, completed that somehow. That guy said, "I'm playing one longer at the moment, and I'm struggling like shit to do a load of missions. I've done loads, and there's a couple that I'm like, oh god, it's took quite a few attempts for it to do." Um, but back in 2001, 2002 time, I was also playing um, Rel Command and Conquer, Rel One. And obviously, Crown and Conquer itself on the PS One, so you know playing that on the, on the uh, console, the State One thing was, yeah, I, I don't know how how I played it back then because obviously I'm, I've been a PC player for ten years now, um, but still it's a comparison uh, for both games. You know, State One came out two thousand one, that came out in like seven, ninety eight, but obviously I think Relic Two came out two thousand one, two thousand two. I think I don't know the dates. I'm not done Relic Two. So I can't comment on that, but you know, the scale for both Crown and Conquer series and for State of War is it's mind blowing how different they are. It's absolutely mental. Um, but yeah, I said it's it's a classic RTS game that has aged. I said it's been upscaled. Even the standard version of the game it still looks pretty pretty decent for you know the game's twenty three years old and it's it's stood the test of time. It's one of the most unique RTS games that's out there to play. Um, so like I said I'm going to explain full detail on what I said there's probably details missed out because you know I always miss out bits and bobs but much information I can I can start off um, I'm going to say Emma like I said I'm reading notes and yeah I always do this when I read notes keep on, uh, 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 so um, but yeah judging by the story which I've I've seen a million times but I can't remember to see basically there's um, the AI called the Overmind um, basically Controls all, all, all the military around the world, all the bases, all the army. There's no human interaction at all. It's all AI, all robots. But then, basically, there's a virus, and hacks all the bases, all the army. So then, we have to go in as um, an army to take him out. And bear in mind, I've much remembered this actually. There's no, there's no troops. There's tanks and there's aircraft. There's no troops at all in this game. I've just realised that actually. They're saying that that's not in my notes. Um, but they, yeah, the, the story is basically a very cliche. Oh, oh, it's been hacked. Oh my God, here we go. Bear going. It's it's a cliche story, but it's you know, it's it's, 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 it's can't complain. It's it's a it's a good game. So, starting off, I said it's twenty two maps, which dotted. I think one in each, 
not every country, but you know, main country everyone knows that they're scattered around. Obviously, the the, the maps are. You get small maps and you get to the big giant ones which are you know when you get your heavily graded tanks they take forever to get one side of the other of the map uh, but like I said each map has their own no maps are the same they've got their own unique layout their unique style and um, the more, more you progress into the game you get obviously you can unlock in certain factories because there's, there's three different factory types the basic one the medium and the heavy so you got the basic one with the little the little tiny PPUs like the Panzer II, Panzer Freeze, I think, and little baby artilleries to the uh, to the Tech Three, which are the big, big scary boys. Which, oof, yeah. Uh, and again, I think my favorite, my favorite unit of this game is the dual artillery unit. You know, you get that on a couple maps. It's a very rare um, unit to play in this game, and it still it has the very satisfying noise. That, Oh, it's it's it's. Uh, I said I've got loads of it. I've got a few videos of the series of that. I mean, some aren't even live yet because I've decided to blitz the route in the middle of me uploading like all the big things. That's why there's like like thirty odd episodes of State of War because I've done every mission the first and start on the second one. Um, you also get an advancer, which is basically a fancy UFO, which you can capture buildings, upgrade buildings, and heal buildings. Depends on what buildings they are. Depends if they upgrade. Some can, some can't. Um, so you can destroy, you can also capture and destroy um, turrets and obviously the buildings themselves. However, the AI will also spawn anti air rockets to take you down. And also, you can take out the enemy's advancer again. The enemy advancer will have some maps, will, you know, not all maps will have an advancer. You have an advancer, the enemy have an advancer, some will, you'll have neither. But there'll be cases where you have don't have an advancer, they do, or vice versa. So it spices things up. Um, so bear in mind you have that to cap, you know, for the building side of things. You also have an air force, which I mentioned before. So the air force includes fighter jets, which you can't shoot down. You've got a big, heavy, I think, B twenty nine bombers, triple, triple, fucking fiery depths of like rocket things. I don't know the hell. Giant you know, circle is doom. Meteorite strikes for whatever reason. Yes, and obviously you have a. Um, a carry units to get some reinforcements. We can carry up to eight units, but you don't get the the carries. You don't get um, the heavy tier three advanced units. You get between one and tier two, and you, you, it's a, it's a basic pick and mix. Sometimes you'll get like just AA units. Sometimes you get um, medium units, and sometimes you get nothing. I'm not taking the piss. Sometimes you get no units at all, and it's like shit. Um, for for turrets, again, it's it's progressed later the game you get like this thing there's five different turrets so you get your old standard 200 200 little t flat pew cannon things um and then obviously you get uh obviously a rocket pods which obviously take down the advances and the enemy uh, bombers and all that shit take that down you've got one that fires plasma units and a machine gun and the fa favorite one which is deadly is the one that fires little little balls of doom it's, it's very expensive, it's a thousand, thousand gold I think it is and they're very expensive and they do a shitload of damage and they're, they're kind of terrifying to go against uh, so I said each map and each map will depend on what units you get, what, what air force you get and obviously what turrets you get and obviously advancer um, and as I said before, I said depends on Depends on what map you are. Depends on your grades you can get for the factories because there's only a, there's only a certain amount of units, like factories in game. So you have to use knowledge to go around the map to capture you know the bases. And yeah, so you know you got factories and then you've got obviously your, your gold mines and you've got the AA, AA unit ticky dues. Now so. Before I, I'll move on to a bit more of that shortly. I've, I've got it somewhere down there. Somewhere. I've written a thing twice. Oops. Uh, <laughs> that's it. Views aren't my fault today, but I'm just excited to play this to review this game because it's it's a game that's been on my heart for over 20, 22 years. So I'm like, I have to. Um, so for, as for units for your tanks, you get your standard light. I said it's Panzer Free. I think it is. It looks like a Panzer Free. Um, you get flamethrower, you get artillery unit, 
you get um, a laser tank like it's, it's called a special unit it's a little fat little laser thing that's slow but does a lot of damage and there's a shitload more some maps you get portable nukes or well, the enemy as well so the units that you have that you can get in the game the enemy can also have so you've got to bear that in mind and sometimes they'll have more superior units than you so you got portable nukes which are in a, I think that's in I think three or four maps there's portable nukes then you've got robots robots that have short range plasma which is deadly against buildings and anything that gets the range everything's dead but it's short range so it will get you, you need to basically take out anything that's in its path basically otherwise get killed you've got machine gun which has the best range however lower that low damage basically so you'd be forever trying to take out your units or something but a couple of them it'd be a while you also got your rockets for your anti-air which is pretty good they're pretty powerful they got most health as well the these robots have the most health and then you've also got the claw yeah there's a robot with claw hands basically and that insta kills any unit in its sight doesn't matter what it is it will take it out but again it's very fragile so yeah so that's that's a rough draft of like some buildings and obviously units and now it's again it's time for the gameplay side of things so um like i said every map has their own their own um limitations their own style their own limitations stuff like that which include a couple of escort missions which i absolutely hate with a passion let's go ones are the worst ones i mean this one struggling with at the moment is an escort mission which took a few attempts but i've done it um like I said it's for escort missions you've got time missions there's a couple of time missions where you got to defend your base and you got reinforcements and there's others where you have like 50 minutes to take out the enemy intact completely I mean everything and um, the, the um, enemy will the, the, the AI system the enemy in this game is really good it will figure out what you've got what they need to capture and they will work around taking you out uh, they know how units work like they will use if, if you spot them sometimes i've learned a lot of times they'll use the artillery so like how i use it where that range of other units they'll you they'll do the same same with bombers and crap out they'll do it if they find your units to clump together or whatever a weak spot they will use it to their advantage which again for a game that's 20 23 years old the ai system is pretty goddamn good and same for advances they will upgrade all that i mean um, like I said they'll use advances to upgrade all the shit, capture the shit, upgrade, and also use turrets. Um, they will use it to, you know, they they won't fuck about. They will take you out basically. And later in the game, they, like I said, there's, there's no set difficulty level, but you can tell like later on in the game, it's it gets harder. Like it, there's no scale difference, but it's just brace yourself basically. And um, yeah, so the goal the goal for that is take all the him at headquarters but there are some we had to get every unit out but not every unit but every building every turret out and um there is again limitations but the enemy limitations are they do not they do not uh, use carrier escorts so they don't, they don't send in troops for the carriers and they don't um then don't, don't use that um the meteor strikes they don't use that for some reason i'm not complaining but they don't use it if they have it themselves they they do have it in a couple maps but they don't use it which i think is a saving grace to be honest with you um so yeah they, that's what the enemy does what the enemy does uh so there's a couple of missions like i said I, I you have to escort nukes you have a couple of units and you go to a to b and it's it, it puts you to the test on micromanaging as well you are a certain amount of units um but there's another map in later in the game where you have to escort the nukes to your base and it says you can use the nukes to your advantage but you don't know if it's glitched or not it's a right pain in the ass but you still it's you know an escort mission um so yeah as i said that they, they they rely on micromanaging so you have to ensure you keep an eye on the later maps the enemy will have more factories that have more air units and they'll have more advances i think one map they have four advances I think three or four advances I mean a warmonger they have like four in one mission and it's a twat and you you have one advancer and they have four yeah so brace yourself for that um, so yeah the regarding units they don't cost any money you just gotta um, you just gotta basically 
keep protecting the building unit buildings and they will I forgot I mentioned about the, the units you have you have mobile IA units as well but same rockets but you know anti air but yeah um, so they don't cost any money you just gotta ensure that you keep shitting them out protect the factory and they will keep pumping out units and yes you can fill the map with t with units as long as your factory is not blocked you will f you can fill the map I did that when I was a kid all the time in Japan I was a Korea and Sudan I filled the map all the time and it's not often the, the AI will like the pathfinding will struggle it's not often I mean the pathfinding for the game is really fucking good as well again like you can have like 400 tanks at one you know at one map and as long as the way is clear they will go and it's great until you, I said, until you start blocking places up with the units, they'll struggle. So yeah, it's uh, mm, and bear in mind with uh, with the with the buildings, like I said, you have certain types of fail ones. I see you at gold mines, so obviously you need your turrets, and there's uh, like wind fact. I think the wind turbines are like I don't know, bloody I can't remember they're called, but they're like little wind turbine factories portables, and you have to capture them. Because the more you capture them, the, more, the quicker units should get shot out, both units and the air units to your radar systems. So bear that in mind. You see them, take them out quick as you can, because the enemy will have it as well. Enemy, they have there's loads of maps where enemy have like ten of them, and they will shoot you until like no, no tomorrow. So you have to capture that to increase your productive productivity, and that's it for that. Um, so you've got your so like I said, you've got all that to deal with, and um, but like I said, anything. Um, there's not a set way to apart from gold missions. There's no set way to do them do the mission. You can, if you figure out a, a loophole anywhere in the map, work with it and figure out calls around it. There's no like you have to do A to B. No, it's it's wild about the game. You can try multiple ways. I mean, there's a couple areas where you, there is only one way to do it, but it's basically free realm. I like you know how to how to basically take out the enemy. So you know it's it's yeah it's it's it's. I mean, like I said, there's only 22 maps, some are limited, but you can have fun and, and train different ways way around. And like I said, for a game that's 23 years old, I've, it's uh, heavily challenging compared to some like, new RTS games that have come out recently. You know, it's... Hmm. And graphic-wise, like I said, it's I think it's a 2D, but the models are 3D. Right, you know, the tanks are free, uh, 2D, but it's 3D. You face down on an angle, basically, but, you know, they, they all have their own little noises, their own effects, their own speeds their own basically their own personality and it's great you know it's like oh my god and, you, and like i said if the enemy have certain tank you tanks only you know what the pros and cons are. i think all right this this one you take out this and this and this basically to your advantage and i said you have to micro the patient later missions micro manage like shit it's oh. just bear in mind you can have like 10 i think it's similar to supreme commander i say the scale of the game is similar to supreme commander i know supreme has got big giant rank comps the square maps not as big i think but the amount of shit you've got in the game it, it's it's like spring commander's scale you know with it skips a couple steps basically you know so yeah there is that um i know there's multiplayer i've not touched that for i don't know why i've not touched it and i know there's a i don't think there's some bars where you do your own maps but i need to figure that out to be fair for the game but which would be good to make your own maps to be fair. I think that's the only thing that's lacking is your own skirmishes, basically make your own make your own scenarios. If that had that as a base game, I think this will be the ultimate RTS game. And that's me that's saying a lot obviously I'm a massive Crown Conquer fan. I love Spring Commander. You know. Crown Conquer is the biggest one of the biggest RTS series out there and I'm like, yes. So, you know, that's, that's me saying a lot and again I've just probably loads of details I've missed out for the game I saw was it um, yeah I was forgot some, uh, some building some maps will have buildings that aren't captured they're neutral so basically the first one has to grab it and capture it however there's a thing that in the game where if the enemy take out all the health and then if you do the last couple of hits you'll capture the building so use that as your advantage but that's the thing you've got to cap any any building that's that's not owned by the enemy prioritize capturing them and then but some maps you have to prioritize what to capture first like if there's gold mines capture gold mines but if there's factories capture factories but if there's radar systems capture them first so you start getting some air units saved up and again air units are infinite as well so long as you keep defending and you know you can save them up you don't have to use them all at one hit you can save them 
and just go nuts. I mean, I've done that in loads of missions where I've got like 10 bombers, there's bombers one side out, and it's like, yes, or like, like 10 area carriers, you know, it's, again, it's, it's yeah, it's, it's, it's nuts, the possibilities you can do per map. So, yeah. Uh, but like I said, it's, if, if you're a strategy fan and you've not played it all, you, you know of it, that's, like I said, I highly recommend playing it. At least play the campaign once and then you realize, okay, he's onto something. Or, for, oh, you shit. <laughs> so, yeah, that, again, this this is just my opinion of the game. And like I said, I highly recommend anyone playing it because it's, 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 it's truly special. I've not played a game like it. There's no game like it. You know, I think I've got like, I don't know on top of that man, but I think it was like six or seven or eight RTS games. And, and it it doesn't compare. I mean I've, I've got Ruse of Steel Division as well, I've got War Game. It it nothing compares to it. It's such a unique game. I mean it'd be great if they made another one. Keep this graphically the same. I don't want it to go full 3D. If they made another one, that would be a fever dream if they made a third one. But I don't think they will which doesn't kind of doesn't ruin the magic for the game because that's like you know dicky do so yeah so yeah um and like that because i'll just keep chatting shit about anything to be fair crack on so yeah thank you uh was it frontier games <laughs> yeah uh blah, 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 blah. yeah i see i've still got the right from my dad, I've got the still the original CD ROM. Yeah, I'm not taking the piss. I've still got it. <sighs> now this is this is a reprint. This one as well. Actually. God damn. I don't know like, how many times it's been it's been done, but yeah, I've got it. It's somewhere. The original baby. So yeah. So yeah. Until uh, I was like, I'm going to pump this review like, in the middle of me in, in the middle of this whole gaming series because there's like another 10 state of war videos that's that's due to come out or something like that depends on what 10 depends on how how quick i get this review because i've got lots of videos and content i need to edit to make this review so yeah until next time um don't 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 have, don't have your ai unit control that army because this happens also spaghetti hoops for reasons